بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر اظہر علی اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر الیکٹریکل انجینئرنگ ڈپارٹمنٹ سرحد یونیورسٹی پشاور اینڈ یو ویلکم بیک ٹو دس اسٹڈی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ان دس فسٹ ویڈیو لیکچر آف ویک سیونتھ فار دی کورس اپلائڈ میتھمیٹکس ون ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ امپلیسڈ ڈفرینسیشن سو first of all i would like to tell you about the uh, explicit and implicit function a function which is given which is expressed in term of independent variable say x for example y is equal to x square plus 2x plus 3 so this function is a uh, explicit function so dear students a function in which range term y is expressed as a term of domain then the function called explicit function here y is a dependent variable which is expressed in term of independent variable x so a function which is given in term of both dependent variable y and independent variable x is called implicit function for example x square into y minus 6y cube minus 6xy cube plus 2y power 5 is equal to x plus 3y so this is uh, an implicit function so a function in which uh, range term y does not express in term of domain function domain term in term of domain so the function will be implicit function sometime you may not be able to algebraically solve the equation for y in term of x and sometime it is not convenient to express a function explicitly uh, explicitly explicitly but every implicit function can be expressed in term uh, in explicit form for example x square plus y square is equal to 16 can be written as y is equal to under root 16 minus x square so dear students uh, this example means that uh, every explicit function can be expressed in term of implicit function but it is not necessary that uh, every implicit function can be converted into explicit form even if we cannot solve an implicit function for y in term of x we can differentiate the implicit function using a method called implicit differentiation where we assume that y is some function of x say y is equal to f of x this will provide information about when y is a function of x for an implicit function in the same way x could be a function of y for an implicit function we will only consider the case where y is a function of x for an implicit function uh, in this uh, lesson so dear students in this video lecture, lecture today uh, we are going to uh, learn about uh, the differentiation of an implicit function implicit differentiation is an uh, implication of the chain rule so suppose you see over here this is a problem 5x square minus xy minus 3y power 4 is equal to x cube so this is an implicit function because the range term y does not express in term of domain so this is an implicit function now how to take the de derivative of this implicit function so the main conclusion of this lecture to take to calculate the derivative of an implicit function now to find the derivative of this implicit function you see over here differentiating uh, differentiating this function with respect to x derivative of this implicit function with respect to x is equal to derivative of the right hand side and in the right hand side we obtain only one term x cube now derivative of 5x square with respect to x derivative of xy with respect to x and derivative of 3y power 4 with respect to x is equal to uh, using the power rule derivative of x cube is equal to 3 into x power 3 minus 1 now derivative of this term with respect to power uh, with respect to x 
by using power rule 2x and uh, here we use the product rule x and y are both variable of function so we use the product rule for the derivative of this term so first derivative of second plus second derivative of first and minus 3 uh, into derivative of y power 4 is equal to 3x square so dear student you see over here actually we use the chain rule in this term 3 using the power rule the derivative of y power 4 is equal to a 4y power cube and taking the again derivative the further derivative of the base dy by dx so implicit differentiation is an, implicit, an implication of the chain rule now 2 5 the 10 minus x is it is and dy by dx is it is plus y is it is and the derivative of x is 1 so 3 for the 12 12 y cube dy by dx and actually we need dy by dx now 10x minus x into dy by dx minus y minus 12y cube into dy by dx is equal to 3x square now uh, x dy by dx is it is in the left hand side minus uh, 12y cube dy by dx is it is this term x dy by dx is it is and minus 12y cube dy by dx is it is and shift these term uh, 10x to the right hand side we obtain 3x square minus 10x and shift this minus y term to the right hand side we obtain 3x square minus 10x plus y because we need dy by dx now taking common dy by dx from these two terms we obtain minus uh, into x plus 12y cube into dy by dx is equal to 3x square minus 10x plus y now dividing both side by uh, minus x minus into x plus 12y cube we obtain dy by dx is equal to uh, 3x square minus 10x plus y divided by minus x into x plus 12y cube and this is the result of the given problem now another implicit function uh, x cube plus 12 2x square y cube plus y power 5 is equal to x power 4 plus y now taking the derivative with respect to x uh, you see over here derivative of the function with respect to x into x cube plus 2x square y cube plus y power 5 is equal to and derivative of the right hand side uh, with respect to x into x power 4 plus y now taking the derivative of each term you see over here derivative of x cube derivative of x square y cube derivative of y power 5 derivative of x power 4 and derivative of y now using the power rule in this term 3x square plus 2 and 2 uh, here we use the product rule because x and y are in multiplied form so we use the power rule first derivative of second plus second and derivative of first first function is it is and take the derivative of second function plus second function is it is and take the derivative of first function plus 5 into y y power 5 minus 1 and here we use the chain rule so 5 y power 5 minus 1 and further derivative of the base and this is equal to using the power rule 4x into x power minus 1 plus dy by dx now actually we need uh, uh, dy by dx so uh, 3x square plus 2 into x square as it is and using the chain rule in this term 3y square the derivative of y cube is 3y square and further derivative of the base dy by dx plus y cube into 2x the derivative of x square is 2x plus 5 y, 5 y power 4 and dy by dx as it is is equal to 3x power 4x cube plus dy by dx now uh, 3x cube plus 2 into 3x square y square dy by dx plus 2xy cube plus 5y power 4 dy by dx is equal to 4x cube plus dy by dx now from all uh, these terms you see over here uh, and 2 and 3 terms dy by dx is common term and this term this term contain dy by dx 
this term also contain dy by dx and this term also contain dy by dx so these term will be in, in the left hand side and the other term uh, will be on the right hand side so you see over here 6x square y square dy by dx and plus 5y power 4 dy by dx and minus dy by dx shift this dy by dx to the left hand side is equal to and shift this term 3x square to the right hand side 4x cube as it is minus 3x square as it is and shift this term also to the right hand side we obtain minus 4xy cube now taking common dy by dx from these three terms you see over here taking common dy by dx so x square y square plus 5 y power 4 minus 1 into dy by dx is equal to 4x cube minus 3x square minus dx y cube now dividing both side by 6x square y square plus 5 y power 4 minus 1 why we divide both side uh, by this term because we need dy by dx so dy by dx is equal to 4x cube minus 3x square minus 4xy cube divided by 6x square y square plus 5y power 4 minus 1 so dear students in the implicit dif in the implicit differentiation using the chain rule and you will obtain dy by dx uh, in more than one term so taking common that dy by dx from that terms and shift all the term to the right hand side you can easily find dy by dx for example another problem uh, x power 4 minus x into y 7 plus 3y square is equal to 2x power 5 plus y power 5 plus 8 now taking the derivative of this uh, implicit function with respect to x you see over here taking derivative uh, of the left hand side and derivative of the right hand side now derivative of x power 4 minus derivative of x y power 7 plus derivative of y power 2 is equal to derivative of x power 5 plus derivative of y power 5 plus derivative of 8 so dear students using chain rule in that term in which contain the y so we use chain rule for this term y power 7 we use chain rule for this term and we use chain rule for this term now using the product rule for this x into y power 7 now the derivative of x power 4 by using the power rule 4 into x 4 minus 1 minus 6 into first into derivative of second function minus second fun plus second function derivative of first function plus 3 into 2y using the chain rule for the derivative of y square derivative of y square is equal to 2y and for the derivative of the base and at the right hand side we obtain 2 into y 2 into 5 x power 5 minus 1 plus using the chain rule for y power 5 so 5 into y power 5 minus 1 and for the derivative of the base now 4x cube minus 6 into x into the derivative of y power 7 using the chain rule 7 into y power 7 minus 1 and further derivative of the base plus y power 7 into derivative of x is 1 plus 2 3 the 6 dy by dx is equal to 2 5 the 10 x power 4 plus y power 4 dy by dx now 4x cube minus 6 into 7x y power 6 dy by dx plus y power 7 plus 6y dy by dx is equal to 10x power 4 plus y power 4 dy by dx now in this problem uh, three term contain dy by dx you see over here three terms contain dy by dx so this term also contain dy by dx this term contain dy by dx and this term contain the dy by dx now these three terms will be on the left hand side and other terms will be on the right hand side so taking common from these three terms from these three terms 
uh, actually we obtained uh, 6y 6y dy by dx this is 6y dy by dx minus 42 xy power 6 dy by dx and shift this term to the left hand side minus 5y power 4 dy by dx in other terms 10x power 4 shift this term to the right hand side uh, minus 4x cube plus shift this term to the right hand side plus 6y power 7 now taking common dy by dx from these three terms 6y minus 42xy power 6 minus 5y power 4 into dy by dx plus 10x power 4 minus 4x cube plus 6y power 7 now dividing both sides by this term because we need dy by dx so for the dy by dx uh, we obtain dy by dx is equal to 10x power 4 minus 4x cube plus 6x uh, plus 6y power 7 divided by 6y minus 42 xy power 6 minus 5y power 4 now another problem y into sine 1 over y is equal to 1 minus x into y so dear student this is an implicit function and we cannot express this implicit function into explicit so in the form of implicit function we take the derivative and this derivative actually called implicit differentiation why we need implicit differentiation because sometimes we cannot uh, express implicit function into uh, explicit function sometimes we cannot convert implicit function into explicit function so in the form of implicit we take the derivative of the function and this derivative actually called implicit differentiation so the derivative of this function with respect to x uh, d by dx into y sine into 1 over sine 1 over y is equal to derivative of 1 minus x y now dear students we use the product rule at the left hand side and actually at the right hand side also we apply the product rule for the differentiation so you see over here first derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function first function is y and second function is sine 1 over y now at the right hand side derivative of 1 minus or derivative of x into y now y is it is derivative of sine is cos theta in further derivative of the theta 1 over y is an angle so again derivative of 1 over y with respect to x plus sine 1 over y as it is and dy by dx is equal to derivative of 1 is 0 minus so again using the product rule first derivative of second plus second function into derivative of first function first function is x and second function here is y now y into cos theta cos 1 over y and derivative for the derivative of 1 over y we can write uh, y power minus 1 so the derivative of y power minus 1 will be using the power rule minus 1 shift this power to the um, coefficient and minus 1 into y power minus 2 and again derivative of the base so dear student for this point note that derivative of y power minus 1 shift this power uh, multiplied this power with the coefficient we obtain minus 1 into y power using the power rule you just subtract minus 1 from the power y power minus 2 in further derivative of the base dy by dx now plus sine 1 over y dy by dx is it is is equal to x dy by dx as it is plus y and derivative of x is 1 now minus y power minus 1 actually y dot y power minus 2 obtain we obtain y power minus 1 adding the power of these two uh, y, y power 1 and y power minus 2 since the base is same now adding the power we obtain y power minus 1 and cos 1 over y as it is and dy by dx as it is plus sine 1 over y dy by dx is equal to minus x dy by dx and plus minus 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 y now uh, dear students you see over here we can write uh, sine 1 over y dy by dx minus 1 over y y power minus 1 can be written as 1 over y cos 1 over y dy by dx and shift this term d 
dy by dx into dy by dx because this term contain dy by dx now shift this term to the left hand side we obtain plus x dy by dx and in the right hand side we obtain only one term which is minus y now taking common dy by dx from these three terms taking common dy by dx from this term dy by dx from this term and dy by dx from this term we obtain sin 1 over y minus 1 over y cos 1 over y plus x into dy by dx is equal to minus y now dividing both side dividing both side by this term sin 1 over y minus 1 over y cos 1 over y plus x we obtain uh, dy by dx into minus y divided by sin 1 over y minus 1 over y cos 1 over y plus x now another implicit uh, problem xy is equal to cotangent xy so uh, we take implicit differentiation with respect to x for the left hand side you see over here derivative of xy with respect to x and derivative of cotangent xy with respect to x now using the product root for, for this term first function is x x is it is and derivative of y dy by dx plus x is it is y is it is and derivative of x so first function into derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function and in the right hand side derivative of cotangent is equal to minus cosecant square theta actually xy is theta now the further derivative of theta for the derivative of xy so for xy we need again the product rule so x into dy by dx it is plus y into 1 the derivative of x is 1 minus cosecant square xy and now the derivative of xy again x into dy by dx first function derivative of second function plus second function into derivative of first function now x dy by dx plus y is equal to minus cosecant square xy into x dy by dx plus y the derivative of x is 1 and this term you see over here the derivative of x is 1 now x dy by dx plus y minus uh, minus x cosecant square xy dy by dx multiplied this term multiplied this term uh, with these two terms first of all multiplied this term with this term we obtain minus x cosecant square xy into dy by dx and now multiplied cosecant square with the y we obtain minus y into cosecant square xy now in two term we obtain dy by dx this term also contain dy by dx and this term also contain dy by dx now these two term will be on the left hand side and shift other terms to the right hand side so x into dy by dx plus x into cosecant square xy dy by dx and shift this term plus y to the right hand side we obtain minus y minus y cosecant square xy now taking common dy by dx from these two terms dy by dx from these two terms we obtain 1 plus cosecant square xy uh, into x into dy by dx actually in these two term and these two term x is also common so 1 plus cosecant square xy into x dy by dx is equal to minus y and this term and these two term y is common so minus y into 1 plus cosecant square xy now dividing both side by 1 plus cosecant square xy into x so we obtain dy by dx is equal to minus y into 1 plus cosecant square xy divided by uh, x into 1 plus cosecant square xy and these two term cancel we obtain minus y by x so the derivative of the given problem with respect to x dy by dx is equal to minus y by x so dear students the conclusion of uh, this video lecture note that if we have an implicit function then how to calculate how to take the derivative of the implicit function in the implicit function you see over here 
actually implicit function is a function suppose you see over here implicit function is a function in which we cannot express y which is a range term which is a range term in which we cannot the range term y in term of domain so this is called implicit function and sometime we express implicit function in term of explicit but every explicit function does not convert into explicit form so in this case when the function is in implicit form how to take the derivative this is the main question how to take the derivative of implicit function for the derivative of implicit function use chain rule and we use chain rule for the uh, for the dependent term we use the chain rule for the y term for example you see over here y power 4 the derivative of y power 4 will be equal to 4 y power 3 and further derivative of the base actually we also use chain rule for the x cube term but the further derivative of x with respect to x is 1 because x is independent variable so dear student note that this point is very very important point that for for every term in which we obtain y power something suppose y power 1 so you can direct write as dy by dx but for example when one term or other terms we obtain y square like you see over here in the in this question uh, we obtain in this term y so we write dy by dx in this term y power 4 so we write uh, first of all using the power rule shape this power uh, multiply the power with the denominator with the coefficient and subtract 1 from the power and take further derivative of the base so for those term which contain y power y y power something y any power for those term in which y power any y has any power for that term using chain rule so dear students for example you see over here derivative of 5 x square so the derivative of x square is you using power rule but for the derivative of y power 4 using chain rule first first of all using the power rule by uh, multiply the power with the coefficient and subtract 1 from the power this is the power rule but take further derivative of the base for those term which contain y and that term which contain y any power greater than 1 we use the chain rule and after the derivative uh, taking common dy by dx from those term which contain dy by dx first of all uh, shift those term to the left hand side which contain dy by dx and shift those term which cannot contain dy by dx so at the end taking common dy by dx from their terms and then multiplied the last step with the coefficient of dy by dx you can easily find dy by dx like you see over here in this problem actually the coefficient of dy by dx in this problem is a minus into x plus 12 y cube so dividing both side by this coefficient we can obtain dy by dx is equal to minus into 3x square plus minus 10x plus y divided by x plus 12 y cube so dear students for the derivative of uh, implicit function first of all take implicit differentiation and using chain rule for those term which contain y power more than 1 y power greater than 1 using chain rule for those term in which the power of y is greater than 1 like you see over here the power of y y power y power 4 y power 4 because the y the power of the power of y in this term is greater than 1 so using chain rule for those term in which y power is greater than 1 now dear student this is the end of this segment thank you allah hafiz